I like statues. They're like regular people, but smoother and made of marble. You can poke them in the face as many times as you'd like without them getting annoyed or kicking you in the shins. So my name's Scott Redmond, and today I'm taking you to my hometown of Hoyk to talk you through some of our weirder statues. So we'll start with Hoyk's most famous statue, Ken the Horse. As in, where are we meeting today? Ah, Divi Ken the Horse. This actually commemorates the time when a group of young men from Hoyk went and slaughtered a bunch of English soldiers who were camped just outside of Hoyk whilst they slept and stole this nifty flag, now forming a centrepiece of our annual summer festival, which celebrates the fact that there are no English people in Hoyk. No, like, seriously, if you're English, you are not allowed in Hoyk. This statue commemorates the time that, according to myth, a bull charged at Robert the Bruce before it was grabbed by the horns and turned away at the last moment, saving his life. Thus, the name Turnbull. Also, it was how handlebars were invented. The BBC have told me that I have to tell you the handlebars part probably isn't true. Did you really have to be so anatomically accurate? It was someone's job to cast this from iron? So this is James Wilson, who is a Hoyk native and also founded The Economist. This was originally at The Economist's offices, but they decided to get rid of it. Uh, they were just going to throw it out, but Hoyk was like, ah, wait a second, free statue, you say, a gimme gimme. Also, this used to be on our high street, but people kept snapping bits of it off, so they had to move it, which means that somewhere out there, some blokes just got this guy's thumb on their mantle. So this is Bill McLaren, a rugby player turned commentator known as the voice of rugby. And so really, it's not that strange that you'd have a statue. The thing that makes it interesting is he was also literally my dad's PE teacher. You do not know how many people I saw drunkenly think these were their pals on a Saturday night. Behind me is Hoyk's memorial to the soldiers from here who fought in both the First and Second World Wars. What makes it notable though is that it was originally supposed to be pride of place in the middle of our high street, but was then moved for being too controversial as it shows the naked male form. To be fair, I'm not really sure why an extravagant naked angel is how they decided to commemorate that, but each to their sexy own, I suppose. So that is pretty much all the statues that Hoyk has to offer, other than a couple of motorcyclists and this fish. Also one for the Boer War, which underrated war. If you want to come see them, come see them. 